problem 13. The sides of a triangle ABC are 15, AB is 15, BC is 18, and CA is 24. Determine the distance from the point of intersection of the angular bisector to side AB. Okay, so ito yung binigay na triangle. ABC, so we have this dimension, 15, 18 here, and 24 yung CA. Uh, we are required to the to calculate the distance from the point of intersection of the angular bisector to side AB. Okay, so the angular bisector, remember that is the line that will bisect the angles of interior angles, no? For A, let's say ito yung alpha over 2. Okay, divide yung angle A or angle alpha 2. Then for B, divide nya by beta over 2. Then C, let's call that theta, then theta over 2. So this is the point of intersection of that um, angular bisector. Now the question here is this one. From this point up to that point. Distance from the side AB to the point of intersection or the in-center. Okay? Tatandaan nyo yan. Pag ang tinatanong is the distance, that should be perpendicular to this distance dito. Okay, let me call this one as D. Dapat perpendicular siya. Baka isipin natin na yung distance na pinapahanap dito is from this point up to that point lang. No. Okay? So, understand that when we say find the distance or determine the distance, that should be perpendicular sa kanya. Okay? So, how can I calculate this one? So, unang-unang makukuha natin dito is yung mga angles, no? Yung mga angles A, B, beta, and theta. Okay, so in order for us to calculate this one, I can see a uh, right triangle dito, that one. Kahit anong technique mo, anong geometric figure yung magagawa natin dito. So in this case, ito yung una kong nakita. No? Now, if I have this value of this distance here from that point, that could be the hypotenuse of this right triangle, no? then I can calculate this D when I have the value of alpha. Okay? So, of course, kukunin muna natin yung angles nila. That one. Angle alpha, beta, and theta. Okay? Again, ito yung cosine law. I showed you this on our previous uh, video. No? That one. So, ang isosolve ko dito is yung angle lang na magagamit ko which is beta and alpha. Okay? So, I will solve the value of alpha that is okay so solving the value of alpha consider natin yung whole triangle muna okay so considering the triangle abc then alpha uh, diba yung uh, this side should be the opposite side of that angle so 18 ito then this one or these two are the opposite are uh, the adjacent of that angle 15 and 24 and we have the value of alpha for beta then this uh, side here should be 24 okay the opposite of that beta that one okay i hope you can follow this one and it will give us 92.87 degrees now after i have this one how can i calculate the value of this one Ito, from the center to vertex a okay ito yung gagawin ko after we calculate the values of angle then I will just consider this triangle um, A O B okay let's say that the in center is point O considering this triangle here that one then I need to calculate the angle O that is for us to calculate the ang uh, side OA by using sine law okay I calculate muna natin yung angle O that one Okay, take note, we have beta and alpha, so we can directly solve this one. So, angle O, since that is a triangle, so 180 degrees minus uh, alpha over 2, this one. And, by the way, this should be 48.51, um, okay? Hindi ko siya nasali yung 51, dapat 48.51. Minus beta over 2, so beta is 92.87. And we have the value of O, angle O. Now, by sine law, I will calculate the 
um, distance OA. Okay, distance, this distance over the sign of the opposite that is beta 1 over 2. So beta is point uh, 92.87. I multiply ko na lang by 0.5 dito. Okay? Or divided by 2, the same lang. Is equals to the 15 over sine of angle O, that one. It will give us 11.517 units. Okay? Then, ibalik natin. I will just consider this right triangle na. Okay? Now, that D, by sine function, that is hypotenuse sine of alpha over 2. Alpha is 48.51. And it will give us 4.73 units. Okay? And that is letter C. This one. Okay? Okay, problem 14. In the triangle, we have uh, given C here, no? My drawing na tayo. So, angle C, 70, angle A, 45. Um, side AB is 40. What is the length of the median drawn from the vertex A to side BC? Okay, ano yung median? That is the line from the um, midpoint of this uh, side to the point or to the vertex, opposite vertex. Okay. So, may relationship akong pinakita dito, no? So, yung nasa first lecture natin or first video. So, in that formula, we will be needing the sides, all sides of this triangle. So, I will just calculate first the sides, no? So, I can calculate directly side BC by sine law. BC over sine of 45 is equal to 40 over sine of 70. To give us BC as 30.1. Then, to calculate the, uh, uh, the side AC, then we need to calculate first the angle B. Correct. Okay? And by the way, yung median pala, di ba, sinabi ko kanina, it will, yung tinatanong dito is from side BC to vertex A. So, hahatiin dapat to. Because yung line will pa pass through the center of this um, side. So, that will be 15.05 and 15.05. Kalahati ng 30.1. Okay. Now, calculating the angle B, 180 minus 45 minus 70, it will give us 65 degrees, that one. Okay? So, I can calculate now side AC by sine law again, then it will give us that one, 38.58. Now, using the formula I presented to you, the relationship between the median and the sides is ito. So, I will just call this one as median BC na lang, no? Since side BC yung kinukonsider natin. That one. So, I think you can follow na that by looking at the formula. So, ito yun. Rearrange. Cross multiply ko yung 4, then squared both sides. Magiging ganito yan. And, ito yung answer. 36.3, letter C. Now, this is using the relationship formula na pinakita ko. Now, we can just solve this manually, actually. Okay. So, given that we have the values, so, all we are, um, all we are um, needing in this kind of problem is this one lang. Look at this triangle here. Um, A, B, and this point. Diba we have the sides 40 and 15.05? Then, ito yung hahanapin natin. And take note, we have included angle then we can just use the cosine law. Okay? By cosine law, the median squared is equal to 40 plus 15, yan, naka-squared sila, minus the twice of the product of that. Then cosine of the opposite angle, 65, it will give us 36.3. Okay? So you can use your calculator uh, dito, yung absolute, di ba? I showed you on the previous uh, video. Okay? Problem 15. From a point outside an equilateral triangle, the distance to the vertices are 10, 10, and 18. Find the dimension of the triangle. Okay, so take note. Equilateral triangle has three equal sides. Now, if this is equilateral, then also the angle included between them should be equal then. So that should be 180 divided by 3 or 60 degrees silang lahat. Okay? Now, there is a point outside this triangle now that are 10 meters 
from the two points and 18 meters from the other vertex from the vertice vertices rather so I can say na ganito yung itsura since equal yung dalawa then yung isa is greater than the two lines so of course it will pass through this center talaga ng triangle natin because of this symmetry now by symmetry okay so how can we calculate the value of x okay consider this triangle here take note that if this line will pass through the center then hahatiin lang yan yung 60 degrees into 30 okay now let me just consider this triangle na lang. we have the value or the unknown x we have this 30 degrees we have this um, two sides so how can we calculate so um pwedeng sign law but medyo mahaba haba siya pag sign law let me just calculate this using cosine law okay cosine law so c squared yan no so yung cosine theta yung theta natin dapat opposite sa side c so in this case this is our theta yung opposite side natin is 10 so it will be like this 10 squared is equals to x squared plus 18 minus twice of 18 times x cosine of 30. 30. Now we have the value of x, 19.94, and that is letter C. Okay. Problem 16. An airplane leaves an aircraft carrier and flies south at 350 mph miles per hour. The carrier travels south is 30 degrees at 25 mph okay so if the wireless communication range of the airplane is 700 miles when will it lose contact with the carrier okay so let me assume that this is the starting point no before nag travel yung airplane and carrier so they travel yung airplane travels south yung carrier travels southeast 30 degrees no so this is the uh, northeast west and south no so ito yung travel nila path of travel so let me call this one as uh, d1 the distance traveled by the airplane and d2 the distance traveled by the carrier that is when maglulus contact na sila okay southeast 30 degrees so when this line or this distance between these two points or the um, change in position nila is 700 miles at that point mawawala na yung contact nila or yung communication nila okay so take note that we have d1 and d2 and we have the um, velocities so we can express d1 is equals to velocity times time okay so d2 again velocity times time which is 25 times time so yung time yung hahanapin natin after how many hours na mawawala na yung contact nila so by cosine law pinakamaganda cosine law dito so opposite angle nya is 700 700 squared is equal to d1 squared plus d2 squared and so on you can just follow this one and take note that d1 and d2 is expressed into time then substituting that one and it will give us the time as 2.13 hours and that is letter C okay problem 17 from the top of tower A the angle of elevation of top of tower B is 46 degrees from the foot of tower B the angle of elevation of the top of tower A is 28 degrees both towers are on level ground uh, if the height of the tower B is 120 meters, how high is tower A? Okay, so they are on both the same level. So I will just use this one as tower A and tower B. Now, how did I know that tower B is less, I mean, is taller than tower A? Okay, because of this statement, the angle of elevation of the top of tower B from the top of tower A, you know, from the top of tower A, the angle of elevation of the top of tower B is 46. That means pataas siya. Angle of elevation is pataas. If that is depression, th then this should uh, be 
pababa siya. Okay? Now, another statement, from the foot of tower B, this one, the angle of elevation of the top of tower A is 28 degrees. Again, elevation, so pataas siya. 28 degrees. Now, given yung height ng tower B, which is 120 meters, assuming this is uh, distance, uh, their distance apart, let's say that is X, and we are to calculate the height of tower A. Okay, let me call this, that as H. So, how can we calculate the value of H? Okay, so assuming this is Y, now my first equation here that H plus Y should be equal to 120 meters. Now, if I can express yung Y into H, then makukuha na natin yung H. Okay, so how can I calculate th that one? Okay, so first I will consider this triangle here, this one. Okay. So, considering this one, my x or the value of x can be expressed into h by tangent, huh? Opposite over the adjacent, then we can express x into h over tangent of 28 degrees. Okay, now, let's move to another triangle form here. That one. So, considering that right triangle here, take note that this one is also the value of x, and value of x is is expressed into h so that is h over 28 degrees okay so considering this right triangle i will express y to h no again by tangent of uh 46 degrees is equals to opposite y over the adjacent h over tangent 28 degrees so rearranging that ito yung mangyayari y can be expressed into h that is ganito now substitute natin yung y doon sa first equation natin so it will give us this uh, the ratio of tangent 46 over 28 h is equal to 120 then h is 40.71 okay technique talaga is we will create triangles in geometric problems yan yung mga pinaka technique dito aside sa mga principles na dapat nating malaman okay problem 18 a wooden flagpole is embedded 3 meters deep at corner A of a concrete slab A, B, C, D. Uh, square in form measuring 20 feet on a side. Okay, so let us assume ito yung slab natin. Squares, square slab, no? 20 feet on a side. Then, i-embed daw siya sa isang corner, corner A, yung ating uh, flagpole. So, looking this in the side view or the isometric view, i-embed yung flagpole dito. So, 3 meters below the slab na siya. Okay? So, a storm broke the flagpole at a point 1 meters, 1 meter above the slab. So, from this point, nabali yung ating flagpole because of the storm in this way. Okay? So, assuming ito yung 1 meter. So, I will just... Um, convert this one to feet since naka-feet ito lahat, no? Yung binigay dito. So, 1 meter is equal to 3.281 feet. So, the statement says that a storm broke the flag flagpole 0.1 meter above the slab and inclined towards corner C in the direction of the diagonal AC. So, this is our diagonal AC. So, yu, nabali yung ating flagpole in the direction of the diagonal AC pag ganyan pointing towards this um, diagonal okay so the vertical angles angles observed at the center of the slab and at corner C to the tip of the plug pole which is point O here uh, were 65 degrees and 35 degrees respectively so ito yung um, center ng slab natin then this one though observes an angle uh, vertical angle of 65 degrees to that tip of the pole and dito ren sa C nag-observe siya ng 35 degrees at 1 okay now what is the total length of the flagpole above the slab in yards so from here daw to the tip of the flagpole yung um, hindi pa siya nabali what is the total length so we have this length here 3.281 we need to calculate this one na lang itong nabali dito then, i-add natin. Yan yung total length ng ating flagpole. Okay? So, ano yung gagawin natin? 
So, medyo ma-analyze to siya, no? I know it is a tedious problem, but um, yeah, i-discuss natin para at least malaman nyo paano i- o ano yung mga techniques in calculating or solving trigonometric problems. Okay. So, first, I will just calculate the diagonal AC here. That is square root of 20 squared plus 20 squared. Okay? Parang kinonsider na natin itong triangle na ito. Right triangle yan. Okay? So, that is 28.28 degrees. Mm, next, i-consider ko itong triangle dito na nabuo. This one. Okay? So, if this is diagonal AC, which is 28.28, .28, then this is half of that value. That is 14.14. .14. Okay? So, bakit ito kinuha? Okay, makikita nyo mamaya. Now, after this one, I will calculate first the distance from O to C. Okay? So, bakit ito siya kukunin? Okay, so, sige lang, makikita nyo. Okay, so, in order for, to, for me to calculate OC, dapat kukunin ko muna yung angle na ito. Okay? And actually, that is just the supplement of 65. Diba? This whole rotation here should be 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 65, that is 115 degrees. Then, para mabuo natin tong triangle na to, kukunin na lang natin yung angle dito. Angle O. So, 180 minus 115 minus 35, and that is 30 degrees. Okay? Now, for this case, we completed the angles included in this triangle O, C, and S. So, we can just, and we have also this dimension 14.14. .14. So, by using sine law, makalculate ko yung ang, uh, side OC. So, OC over sine of 115 degrees is equals to this 14.14 .14 over the opposite, sine of the opposite angle. And that is 25.63 degrees. Now, bakit ko siya kinuha? Okay. So, makukonsider ko itong triangle na ito. Which, in this case, uh, we can relate this one. Itong distance na ito. Which is, ito yung kukunin natin, di ba? Okay. So, I have the um, distance OC. Now, if I will have this distance here, let me call this one as point R. RC. Okay. If makukuha ko to. Then, of course, if makukuha ko rin to, yung included angle of OC and RC, then I can solve this one, yung RO by cosine law. Okay? So, how can we calculate the distance RC? Consider this triangle dito sa baba. Diba that is also a right triangle? So, we have the distance AC. We have distance, this one, from R to A. So, by... Um, Pythagorean theorem, makukuha natin yung RC. And by the way, uh, let me call this distance as H na lang, yung nabali. Okay? So, and of course, I will be needing this angle theta included nila. Okay? So, unahin muna natin yung RC by Pythagorean theorem, that will be um, AC, that is 28.28 squared plus ito, squared, then square root sila. Then we have the value of RC. Now, how can we solve the angle theta okay angle theta as you can see that will be 35 degrees minus yung angle dito sa ibaba which is in this case that is opposite over adjacent makukuha natin so idiretso ko na lang angle theta is 35 degrees minus minus arc tangent of opposite over the adjacent that one okay i hope that is clear we have the value of theta Okay, so from here, we have the value of RC, the value of OC, then the value of theta, then we can solve the value of H by cosine law. So, in your calculator, we can just use this one. Okay, yung absolute, yung pinakita ko kanina. Okay, using that one, absolute of the um, two adjacent sides, so 25.63 minus 28.47, included angle 28.38. So, pwedeng magbalik ta dito. Okay? It will give us 13.54 feet yung H natin. But take note, we are required to calculate the length from the slab to that point. So, i-add lang natin siya by 3.281 feet. 
Then, convert these two yards. Okay, conversion factor. One yard is equal to three feet. Cancel yung feet. Then, the answer H of H is 5.61. The height of the pole from the slab. Okay? Actually, may ibang technique dito. It's up to you. But, ito yung pinaka the best siguro. As far as I'm concerned, no? May ibang solution dito na nagawa ko but change ko na lang para mas madali yung approach. Okay? Problem 19. Find the area of the given circle in square units. Okay, so take note these are um, chords, no? So, if this line here, well, divide this chord into two equal parts, then this should be the diameter of the circle. Correct. No? So if we have that diameter or radius of the circle, we can calculate the area of the circle. So take note, if this is the center of the circle, if project natin siya dito, that is the radius that circle. And this point up to that point, that is also the radius. So radius this point to this point is radius minus 1. This is 1. Okay, so we created a right triangle by Pythagorean theorem, that one, hypotenuse, that one, and that one. I hope you can follow that one. So the value of R is 8.5 units. Okay? So we can just directly solve the area na. But I will show, uh, show you another solution dito. Okay, but these are intersecting chords. So in order for us, for me, to show you the... Uh, principle of two intersecting chords, gagamitin ko yun. Okay? So, if this is the diameter, then this one from point of intersection to this point, that is D minus 1. Diameter minus 1. So, using the theorem of intersecting chords, that would be 1 times D minus 1 is equals to 4 times 4. And will, it will give us 17. And as you can see, that is twice of the radius. Okay? Okay, ito yung gamit ng ating um, theorem of intersecting chords theorem. Okay? Now, area, pwedeng pi r squared or pwedeng pi over 4 diameter squared. And they will both be give the same answer. 226.98. Um, letter D. Okay? Okay, so, ito naman. Problem 20. A circle of radius 8 centimeters is inscribed in a sector having a central angle of 80 degrees. So we are required to calculate the area of this sector. Okay, so uh, for example, ito yung ating circle. Inscribe daw siya ng sector. If a sector is just the par a part of a circle, no? parang pizza pie. Okay, so if you can imagine, i-connect natin to, it will create another cir big circle dito. So inscribe meaning nasa loob. So this circle, I mean this um, sector has a central angle of 80 degrees, that one. Okay, so assuming this point up to that point is our radius of the sector, then this is the radius of the inscribed circle, 8, no? 8 centimeters. Now take note that this radius touches one point of this inscribed circle. So... Tangent yan. That means the radius of the small circle and the radius of the sector is 90 degrees dapat yan. Okay? So, I need to calculate R to calculate the area of this sector dito. Okay. So, how can we deal with this? I will consider this one. A right triangle. I have 8. Then, take note. I project natin yan doon. This is also the radius 8. Okay, and from this point up to that point, that is the radius of the sector. So, uh, therefore, the remaining dimension here is the radius of the sector minus 8, R minus 1. Okay, so we have two sides na. Ang isang side is expressed into R. Then this angle here, uh, if this passes through the center, dapat kalahati, kalahati ito ng 80, and that is 40 degrees, no? Itong dito, 40 degrees to dapat. So, by sine function, sine of 40 is equals to opposite 8 over the hypotenuse R minus 8. So, that's why we have the value of R here. And calculate the area of the sector that is 1 half R squared theta. 
dapat yung theta and radius. Okay? Ito yung tatandaan nyo. Pag walang trigo identity uh, such as tangent, sine, or cosine dito, then dapat naka-radiance yan. Okay? Pag merong trigo identities, dapat naka-degrees yan. Okay, so substitute, we have the value of area dito. Or we can just simply, kung nalimutan mo itong formula, to, formula na to, pwede rin i-ratio ang proportion na lang natin. Pwede ganito. Uh, ano yung area? Okay, ano yung area ng isang buong circle nito? Okay. Imagine this one. I-prolong natin yung arc na yan. So magiging circle din yan ng malaki. So, area dyan is pi r squared, of course. Pi times r dito, 20.45. 45 squared. I-divide natin siya sa total rotation in a circle, which is 360 degrees. Okay? Then, i-equals natin siya to the ratio of the area of the sector over ano yung angle, central angle niya. In this case, that is 80. That one. So, shift solve or cross multiply mo yun, the same answer yung lalabas. Okay? By ratio and proportion. Okay, so another problem. A quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in a semicircle with side AD coinciding with the diameter of the circle. So, we have the sides of the uh, quadrilateral. Okay, so for example, ito yung quadrilateral ABCD. And this will be inscribed in a semicircle. So, side AD daw is coinciding the diameter of the semicircle. Okay. So, ito yung distances nila or sides. So, in order for us to calculate the area of the circle here, the total area of the circle, then we need to calculate AD because that is the diameter of the circle. Assuming that is X. Okay, so the diameter is x. Tawagin na lang natin yung value of x. So, there are many kinds of solution here. But yung nakita ko dito at first is the gagamitin ko yung Ptolemy's theorem. So, we will express the diagonal to x. Okay, if I will project this point D to point B, which is meeting place of point A uh, to point B, no? Parang nagmeet yung ating um, two points of the diameter sa isang point ng ating si uh, periphery of the circle. So, this one should be 90 degrees. Okay? Agree ba kayo? That is another uh, theorem then. That is always 90 degrees if this is the diameter. Because in cosine law, di ba, as you remember, cosine law, the ratio of the distance of the triangle, considering this triangle here, x over sine of 90 is just equals to the diameter. Diba sine of 90 is 1? So that means um, this one will give us the diameter then. <laughs> Nag-gets nyo ba? <laughs> no? Okay, ito na yun. Diba? Ganito siya. I said, in this case, um, x over sine of um, sine of 90 degrees diba? ito yun Should, diba? the sine law is equals to the diameter of the um, circumscribing circle considering this right triangle here na? so sine 90 degrees is equals to 1 lang that means x is equals to d so dito na prove natin yung um ang theorem na to. Magiging 90 yan. Okay? If i-cross multiply natin, x over d. So, puro siya diameter. So, cancel out. So, sine um, 90 degrees is equals to 1. Okay? Or, just remember this one. Basta, i-connect natin yung two points of the diameter to point, to a point of the periphery of the circle. Then, it will give us 90 degrees. Okay? So, considering that this is a right triangle, then, Diagonal BD can be expressed into X. That will be square root of the hypotenuse squared minus 8 squared. Okay? Then, another uh, right triangle can be formed here. Connect ka siya dito sa C. Then, this should be 90 degrees rent. Connecting this another point on the circle. Okay? 
90 degrees. Now, I can express this diagonal AC to exponent considering this one. Okay, square root of x squared minus 12 squared. Now, by using the Ptolemy's theorem, uh, d1 times d2 is equals to the sum of the products of the opposite side. So, this one, 10 times x opposite sila, uh, plus 8 times the opposite side, 12. No? Then, d1 and d2 is expressed into x. So, we can calculate the value of x dito. And that is the diameter. Actually, 20.09 centimeters. Then, area of a circle, pi over 4 times diameter squared. And we have this area, 316.97. Well, the answer here is 317. Okay? Okay. So, another example. A road is tangent to a circular lake along the road uh, circular lake then along the road 12 miles from the point of intersection another roads open towards the lake okay so for example to yung circular lake na my road daw that is tangent to this lake ano yung tangent that will only touch a point on a circle then along the road and 12 miles from the point of intersection uh, 12 12 miles from the point of tangency. So this road from the point of tangency from that one 12 miles siya dapat, no? Then mago open down ng another road here from this point towards the lake. At one. Then from the intersection of two roads this one to the lake that is 11 miles down yung another road natin. Okay. Uh, the length of the new road is 11 miles. If the new road will be prolonged across the lake, so this is the new road, then it will be prolonged across the lake. Uh, find the length of the bridge to be constructed. So this is the bridge to be constructed here, this distance. So as you can see, this is tangent to second property. But this, this whole length here is second. Na? This is tangent. So we can use that property. So, assuming ito yung bridge um, distance x lang, okay? So, by se tangent second property, that will be, the tangent squared, ito, 12 squared, is equals to, from this point, 11 times the total length of the second. Which is 11 plus x. So, we have the value of x here, 2.091 miles. Letter B. And actually, um, if we will assume this one as the diameter of the circle, pwede rin pala siyang makuha, no? Using this another solution. But hindi naman clearly stated na this bridge is the diameter of the circular lake. Pero nakuha siya. Okay, ganito yung ginawa ko. Okay, so, take note that this is tangent to this, uh, this road is tangent to this circle. Then, if we are to project this to the radius, connecting to the center of the circle, this is the radius, then this should be 90 degrees. Okay? Then this also, uh, this one is also the radius. Now, if we're to consider this right triangle here, okay, another solution to. Pythagorean theorem tayo. So, that will be, hypotenuse is 11 plus r, in this case, um, is equal to 12 squared plus r squared, then we have the value of the radius. And actually, the diameter of this one should be twice of that radius and 2.091 miles pa rin yung lumabas. Okay, hindi ko siya inakala na makukuha na siya pag ganito. Because hindi naman nakastate sa problem na the, na the diameter of the lake is the length of the bridge. But lumabas pa rin siya. Eh, well, anyways, mas maganda talaga na marami tayong uh, theorem na nalalaman. Para kahit anong twist ng problem, kaya natin sagutin. Okay? Okay, last problem. The parallel sides of a trapezoidal lot measure 160 meters and 240 meters are 40 meters apart. Okay, trapezoidal lot, that means dalawang sides yung parallel. So, that is 160 and 240 meters. And this is uh, 40 meters apart. So, assuming ito yung orientation ng ating trapezoid. No? Hindi naman stinate na ganito talaga, but assuming ito lang hindi naman siya magmamatter sa solution mamaya. Okay? Kahit, ito, kahit ganito yung itsura niya, past lunch siya, but 
40 meters apart. That means perpendicular siya sa dalawa. Okay. So we are to uh, find the length of the dividing line parallel to the two sides. So these are the two sides. So it divide us siya dito by this line. Let's call that x. That will divide the area into two equal areas. So let's me let me call this one as area one and area two. Dapat this area here above should be equals to the area below. That means um, half or kalahati magkalahati sila no sa total area. So calculating the total area of this trapezoid by that formula. So we have 8,000 square meters. That means yung area dito sa taas is 40 square meters, 40 uh, 4,000 square meters the same sa iba pa. Okay, so I have showed you or present to you the formula in this kind of problem, no? But let me just solve this first using the manual solution. So try go, no? So assuming this is y and itong matitira dito is 40 minus y. Okay? So as we know that this should be half or 40 a uh, 4000 lang. Uh, so let me divide this one into two triangles lang or actually we can just use uh, trapezoid formula pa rin dito the same, ganyan okay, so in this case uh, I divide this one to two triangles okay, so this total area here, this blue one dark blue, is 4000 of course, it's just equals to this area of this triangle, which is one half of base 60 160 times height of 40 minus y, plus another one half, ito one half of ano yung base ng triangle natin dito okay assuming ito yung base na gagamitin ko so the base is x times height is 40 minus y pa rin, or altitude no then pwede natin i-factor out yung one half and 40 minus y dito then it will give us this arrangement okay pa i just cross multiply the two dito sa sa, sa left side so 80000 okay so as you can see we need to eliminate the value by para makuha natin yung x. Okay, so another equation here, dito sa iba ba, of course, dapat 4,000 pa rin siya. No? So, divide ko pa rin siya by 2 equal tri uh, two triangles. So, 4,000 is equals to 1 half of this triangle dito sa iba ba, 1 half of base na 240, height is y, plus this triangle dito, is 1. Plus 1 half of my base here is x then altitude is y at 1 okay so arranging this one y expressed into x ganito siya okay uh, little algebra lang then substitute ko yung y dito that one then ito yung magiging itsura okay then makukuha na natin yung x 203.96 and that is letter a okay so using the formula I presented to you, this one, okay, so area 1 and area 2, di ba may ratio yun, M and N, so ano yung ratio ng area 1 and area 2, since it is stated here na hahatian nila, paghahatian nila, so the M is 1 half and also N is 1 half, no, we, we don't need to calculate na the total area of this um, lot natin. We'll, we'll just use the ratio nila so kalahati silang dalawa so one half to the area one half chan then this is the formula na squared so ito yon doon sa formula na pinakita ko naka c lang to in this case ginawa ko siyang x okay so ang technique dito yung n natin di ba mga ratio yan yung n represents area 2 no so if this is our area 2 area 2, yung n, 1 half, multiplied by the opposite side. Hindi yung katabi niya. Okay? Um, 1 half times 160, this one, 160 squared, then plus m, um, yung m is the same lang naman, 1 half times the opposite niya. m represents area 1. So, opposite niya is 240 squared. Then, m plus n is 1, uh, 1 naman, 1 half plus 1 half is 1. It will give us the same answer. Okay? So, mabuti dito is kalahati silang dalawa, M and N. Pwede tayo magkamali dito if mabaliktad. Uh, for example, two-thirds dito, two-thirds yung area 1, then one-thirds lang yung area 2, then magkakamali tayo pag, maba pag uh, mababaliktad natin to. Okay? So, be, please be cautious on that one. 
So uh, this is the end on the plane geometry and trigonometry problems.